Unify TV at Unify Gathering 2020. My name is Brownie and I'm joined by the big dogs, the ghosts inside. Welcome back to Australia. Yeah. We Woo! should have. Yeah, there we go. That's what we like. Yeah. Ow! So, how did you get the nickname Brownie? Uh, it was a long story. When I was in year six, I shut myself in high school, in primary school. So it kind of stuck from there, and now I just need to work with it and own it. So my question is, does every single person in Australia have a nickname? Because yeah, exactly. our, entire, yeah. our entire crew is Australian, and they all have nicknames. Yep, you, what you do is you essentially add a Y or an O to someone's name. Yeah, so yeah. Pogo, yeah. Bongo, Bingo, yeah. Bango, Bongo. We got Pricey, we got Becca, we got Becco. You know, it Becca, doesn't matter what yeah. it is. You just add an A, a Y, or an O to your name, and that's exactly how you do it. <laughs> okay, thank you. <laughs> Zach, what do you got? Is this thing on? <laughs> <laughs> I don't have much to say about that. Uh, I was hoping you had shot yourself more recently. <laughs> <laughs> well, it is unified. Anything can happen when we I hope right. you have a great night. <laughs> <laughs> okay, guys, I wanted to talk about the fact that you're finally back in Australia. Like, so obviously, for everyone who's been following your story, it's such a, an, an incredible thing to watch from what happened all those years ago to where you are now. It's just one of the most... In, like humbling things to see you guys take this tragedy and and you know take it by the balls and get back out there again and just you know you're here you're in Australia I, I I don't think a lot of people can comprehend the fact that you're here headlining this festival like for you guys to be here right now about to jump on stage what's going through your heads right now I think I, I think it's just it, for us to get back to this it means so much more to us now like whereas before it was something that was um, you know it was kind of what we did you know yeah and like now that part of our life felt so far away and now that it's back it just feels like it's like a breath of fresh air kind of thing yeah. it feels like all new and exciting like seeing our friends and like you know people from australia that we haven't seen forever and yeah. like you know it's and just then at the same time as well it feels so familiar as well like yeah like, like we never stopped but yeah like we've all been talking and we some of us came out here early and like could just I was in Brisbane for two weeks and I couldn't believe I was in Australia because there was yeah. a time where like I didn't think I'd be back overseas anywhere so yeah. it's pretty mind it's, it's mind blowing still like uh, but we are very stoked to be here. So. And th this is this is the second show since the comeback as well too. And like the the amount of people that that showed support that rocked up to that comeback show was just amazing. Not just in um, in LA where it took place, but the live streams we saw. I was sitting at my computer half naked in the morning, like watching this, crying along with you guys, going, <laughs> I can't believe this is actually fucking happening. Like it's so surreal that it's here. But like you know, I'm so stoked to have you guys sitting here right here, you know, playing about to play this festival. It's nuts. Yeah, <clears throat> and we kind of felt like from the get-go, L.A. was always going to be the first show, and yeah. if there was going to be a second show, it was definitely going to be Australia. Like, this was the place that we had circled on the map. Like, if we're going to do anything else, we have to go back to Australia. This is the first, like, place away from home that showed us a yeah. lot of love. And, you know, like, there's a weird a weird thing that's coming full circle. Like, we were about to come over for the big-ass tour. The big-ass tour, that's right. And yeah. here we are almost exactly four years, like, to the day, we're here about to play in Australia. Yeah. You could have brought better weather, to be yeah. honest. But. <laughs> well, there's a bit of a situation going, not just in Australia, but around the world with all of that. But on that as I well, too. I didn't mean the fire. I meant the fucking oh, mud. No, no, everything. There. It's insane. This is just what I mean. Like, you don't know what you're going to expect yeah. when you come to Australia, let alone Victoria, because you go through the four seasons in one day, that kind of situation. Yeah. Uh, but with you guys in Australia right now, the thing that I loved is, regardless of what you guys have been through, you're always there to look out for each other, not just yourselves, but also everyone around the world too. So, with you guys coming back to Australia, you're thinking about us. You organised that fundraiser in, what, two, three days or whatever it was, to raise some funds for the animals that have been affected by it, which was just mind-blowing, the fact that you guys have been through what you've been through, and you're still looking out for other people. Like, wholesome shit, guys. It's awesome. Like, what made you guys go, we have to do this while we're here? Well, the the thing for us was like we for us it's just a couple hours hours out of our day you know and like yeah. for some people who haven't been able to see us like in person in four or five six years you know like it's to, to meet a band you know is a big deal and like yeah. like for us it's just it's just time out of our day that we no problem we're going to commit like anything we do to help out was awesome you know and like we know that there that it, it just it's such a big deal you know and like we want to do what we can and the best way to do it was with just our, our time and hanging out and selling some 
extra records we had and some shirts and stuff and like yeah you know it was making up for lost time dude it, it just it, people just showed up like in droves like we did not expect i mean we knew people were going to come we i didn't yeah. expect that like the whole entire time we were hanging out talking chatting signing stuff taking pictures like it was it was a really good vibe man it was, yeah. it was really cool well look it's bloody good to see it all happening and so much so that i want to give you this here before we move on to the next question um it's an honor, honorary Australian citizenship because of the fact that you guys have come back to Australia and you, you, your, your passion and love has always been there. So, like, if you can show the camera that there, this is essentially, like, what I've whipped together, Microsoft Paint. It, it's not legal tender. Like, it's not a legal document. <laughs> it's not even a full sheet of paper. Like, you cut <laughs> I stuffed it up. I'm so sorry. I stuffed it. <laughs> so this means you're going to pay for our health care? Do you, do you know what that gr this group is going to cost you? If, if, if you come to Australia, man, mistake. If we can you bunk in a the same, Teslas. if we can bunk in the same bed, I will look after you boys. I'm literally in this situation where it's like you have done so much for yourselves and everyone Thank around you. the world that we need to do stuff for you. So if that's what it comes down to, I'll do that. Now it's not a legal document, unfortunately, but with that said, everything that's happening with Australian politicians and all of that right now, like. Fox Gilmer. Exactly that kind of situation there. We can't trust them. So if you can trust me more than you can trust them, then take that home, frame it, put it on your wall. It might mean something to you. It might not. But anyway, you've got that there now for the rest of your lives. Thanks, Brownie. <laughs> Bra Brownie's such a good image. I was looking at this. I didn't hear any <laughs> anything you just said. <laughs> we, were, I, we were laughing at Brownie and the metal horns. So yeah, I, I didn't hear anything you said. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I, I absolutely cooked it. I tried my best to get it sorted, but absolutely stuffed it up. Now, uh, before... Is this, can we go through customs with this? Like, hey, we're... <laughs> you, 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 we are citizens of Australia. <laughs> hey, we're Australians, we're mate. Leave us, let us in. Yeah, this is it. There, there is a situation where you might get picked up by Border Patrol if you show it, especially if it comes up in the x-ray machine. Just don't blame me, okay? I have history. Well, we don't talk it. about that. Brownie. Yeah, I know, but that's like my, my stage name. So it's all good. We can't trace it back to where it came from, that kind of thing. <laughs> All right, your boys are about to get back on stage again. I'm, I'm, I'm loving the fact that you're having a laugh and getting back out there again. Uh, the question people obviously want to know, as you mentioned at the show, you, you've got new music on the way coming out soon. You're working with Jeremy from A Day to Remember. Is there an update on that? Do we know where you're at with what's coming forth? Or? Yes, we do know where you we're do, at. You do, yeah. Are you, are you able to like let it slip out or like uh, you want to keep that to yourselves, which is all fine? Or do I have to, you know, we, we are smooch a little bit more? We are working very hard to get the process finished so that this record will be in the hands of people before we play another show. Right, okay. So this is it, this is your second show done. The next show is obviously over in the UK, if I'm correct, if I can. Uh, we've got a festival in Germany. Germany, June, that's right. June yeah. 27th, so that is that would be the There's your time frame yeah. that you've got there. Okay, so it's gonna be a very interesting year, 2020, the return of the ghosts inside, and like, there's nothing else to do but just you know send you guys off in your merry way and just keep our fingers and eyes peeled for what's to come, I guess. Pedro, what's so funny? I I'm still laughing at Brownie. <laughs> <laughs> well, look, got a nickname for sh shitting himself. Yeah, <laughs> and it stuck with me for life, just like the stains on my underwear. It's, en it's endearing, though. Exactly, yeah. yeah you, know, you, need, you need to own it, so that's what you've got to do. Peas. Peas, yeah. yeah like oh, did you yeah. peas yourselves? Yeah. yeah, okay, perfect, cool. <laughs> well, let's hang out and swap underwear. <laughs> you know, like sharing... Though. Yeah. Oh, you know Vomo. <laughs> 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 Bathroom buddies. <laughs> All right, the ghost inside. We want to see you guys up on stage right now. Thank you very much for taking the time out to hang out with this dickhead right here. You guys are an inspiration. It's so good to be sitting here amongst you guys. Thank you very much. And uh, we can't wait to see what you do next. Thanks. Robbie Brownman the, the third. <laughs>